Aries Taurus to your February 15th through the 20th reading. Hope you friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. This message. We have the King of Pentacles coming out. This is talking about that success, that authority, that abundance, and feeling very generous and prosperous right now. Um, really might even be feeling a little stubborn in some ways. I don't know why I want to say that, but maybe it's because you are working so hard, um, putting yourself into a really good position for your heart's desire over here, for what it is you truly want. I've got a lot of giving and generosity coming out this way. Um, this is definitely, you might be giving a lot of gifts or you might be receiving a lot of gifts, but no matter what is going on, it feels like whatever the give and receive is, it's very balanced at this time. Um, I don't know, it feels like you're very motivated, making some important moves right now, especially with the temperance coming out as well, being very patient, being very sensible about how much time you're giving. It could even be, time right it could be because the temperance can also be time right mm. thinking before making any kind of decision so there could be some kind of decision that you need to look at at this time some kind of important move that's really going to kind of change things um, and what where you're going when it comes to what you're going to give as well so it does feel like there is some kind of determination that's going on over here, but it does feel like you have a choice to make at this time. Some kind of choice. And where you're going to give your, your extra attention. Because it does feel like no matter what, there's a spareness going on. But it's almost like to the point where it's like, well, but I really need to figure out what it is, right? How am I going to do this? I want to take charge of things. I'm taking charge, King of Pentacles, taking charge of this, right? could be taking even a little bit of a backseat just for a second um, with moderation so you can kind of charge your battery a little as you're kind of thinking on which choice to make over here hmm something from the past has gotten your attention let me clarify on that knight of wands some kind of heart's desire like I said before it's definitely You need to be impulsive action going towards your heart. It almost feels like I don't want to, it almost feels like I am feeling a little impulsive, but I don't want to, I remember what happened last time I would, I jumped into something impulsively. So I might be, you might be holding back a little bit from, it's like I give, I give, but maybe I don't want to give as much as I did once before. I was a little impulsive. I want to sit back and kind of, look and see before I get far beyond driven over here on how much how much I want to give because no matter what it's showing you're very generous two cards of generosity I think it's love and I think that you know I think it's love or it's work it could be balancing out both as well, though, because you do have the, <clears throat> excuse me, Six of Pentacles. So you could be trying to balance out love and work, giving this much time to work versus this much time to a person. But it also feels like from the past, I was impulsive and I went far beyond driven over here and I drove too impulsively towards this situation. It could be a love situation. So I'm going to hold back just a little bit that's what I'm getting. And I'm just going to kind of focus on my pinnacle over here instead of impulsively just going towards this charming, sexy person that I have next to me. That's exactly what it is. I have to keep it there. If you know it's something else and, you know, <clears throat> it's definitely a choice between two. <clears throat> so I'm going that way. If you know that it's not a sexy, sexy, charming person. You know, it's work and maybe another work. Maybe it's two works. Maybe it's a hobby and a work. Definitely one has to do with money. Um, 
take it how it resonates, but there's definitely two choices here, and one feels like you were very impulsive towards that um, in the past, but you don't want to make the same past mistake. Maybe you were over-giving something, giving too much of your heart, and they take advantage of you. That's, whoa, that's what I'm getting. I have to keep it there. So whatever it was before, you overgave and got hurt. So now you're trying to balance your scales. I'm just going to kind of focus over here on my pinnacle for a second, not give too much of this. Let's see if they give, if they can give back, right? Let's see if they can give back to me the way I give to them. Maybe overgiving, over generous. There is this expansion of following your heart towards something you're taking a lot of action on, something you're manifesting, something that you're creating, having the clarity and understanding that you are following your heart no matter what. You want this to happen. I think it's something you manifested and that's why you're, you're giving so much. Going this way up says, I manifested, you know, my true heart's desire over here with this could be a fire sign, right? Or just being impulsive and, you know, I want this. My burning heart over here, my heart's desire, inspired love towards the giving. So I want to give to this because I manifested this. I asked for love. I think it's asking for love. And like I said, if it's not love, then I asked for this. But last time I did it, I was too impulsive. It didn't work. So now I have to make a choice. Clarify on, oh my gosh, where do I even start? <laughs> yeah, it's like almost like, where do I start? Because I, I kind of, and I already see it. I already see it. It's like I was, I'm going to focus over here on this situation. And the other one, I was impulsively making mistakes there before by over being over generous or giving too much attention to that. And then it blew, it kind of blew up in my, blew up in my face. Thank you. New love blowing up in my face. I don't want to do that. So I'm averting this. I'm averting this. I don't want this to happen to this new. I'm telling you for some of you, I don't want this with my new love. I want to stay comfortable and calm within the situation because I don't want to move too fast. Maybe they move too fast for you and you've already been in this situation. Take it how it resonates. Somebody's moving too fast, but it feels like this has already happened once and it just ended up in disaster because I end up, no matter what, you end up over giving where they're not giving enough. what it just feels like yeah so right now yeah it's that's what it is so you're just going to keep yourself at a moderate comfortable place but this is where the choice comes in you know how much attention do i give this person right i want to give a gentle push but can that be enough right if i give that gentle push could the partner take care of the rest because that's what I need. Six of Pentacles. I need you to take care of the rest. I don't want to just keep doing it. Because right now you're feeling like they are very balanced. There is a very good give and receive. Right? It's very balanced. But if I overdo it, will they continue to do so? Or will it end up like the past where I end up overgiving and then they don't want to give nothing. They just take, take, take. That's what it feels like. So it says... The sun comes out with the pleasure and the happiness of, yes, you know, everything is all as well, right? It's just the learning that implements, learning to build something, learning to be the teammate with the new person. This is new love. I just feel like, you know what, I just, there's learning. I had to learn to slow down and build something. And if you know that it's not you, then they did this and they need to learn to slow down, right? Because maybe it was them who was impulsively running after people and they need to slow down. And maybe they're trying to do it again. And you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I still think it's you, though. I still think it's you impulsively giving, giving, giving. And then it's almost like they, they s slow down on, res on giving back. And then some don't maybe don't give it all. I don't know. It's going to be different for everybody. But however...
Yeah, because you just want this to develop over time, right? But you don't want it to become that situation where I'm just bored, though, either. Because if I just become bored and, you know, and not give as much as I want to, then it's almost like, hmm, right? So it does feel like you're trying to act a little strategical over here by holding back a little bit with the Seven of Swords. You're saying, hmm, and just kind of contemplating on the situation. I think I'm only going to give this much, and I will focus on my work. Imprints. To the Four of Cups, to the Seven of Swords, to the Hermit. Yes, absolutely. I want this to develop the way it needs to develop. I don't need anything too fast because it doesn't last. Because every time I amplify all this giving and I give, 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 it every other goes, it goes away. I need them to work with me. Three of Pentacles, collaborate with me. We need to keep everything balanced. Because you don't want to have any problems. Right. And like I said, if they're the ones coming impulsively, you're going to say, well, I'm only going to take what I want to take, but we're still going to keep it very balanced. I don't need you coming at me that impulsively. I'm going to pull back a little. But no matter what, it feels like you're pulling back one way or another. Three of Cups. There's enough happiness and enough friendship and enough collaboration right now that it doesn't need to be so fast paced. It doesn't need to go to that next direction. It doesn't need to be. Yeah, it's already it will end up with the Ace of Cups. OK, it already has all the building blocks that it needs to stay that way. So whoever, whether it's you or them coming in overly impulsive, it's OK. Right. Back up just a little bit and give them a little breathing room. Right. Give yourself a little breathing room because, yeah, there is some. This love coming through, this new love, swift action, right? Like I said, whether that's you or them coming in really fast, right? And that's because either you or them manifested this or maybe you guys manifested each other, however it is. But just remember, just detach a little bit, explore, right? Restoring that control, right? Because then it just gets too tight. And then there's no breathing room, feeling like we're, you know, I might be smothering a little bit with um, overgiving, right? So just, yeah, there's enough abundance and prosperity going on. You have the ten, you have the Ace of Pentacles. I don't see anything here that would say, yeah, it's just about balancing what needs to be done time management and for a lot of you it is time management right it's balancing that time management how much do I give to the relationship versus how much time I give to work to really you know or other things that I need to do right could even be setting boundaries like I'm sorry you can't call me when I'm at work I let somebody do that before it really hurt me right and I'm allowing too much right <clears throat> people will do that and call you at work it's like um excuse me said I was at work right because yeah you're focused yeah you're focusing on yeah so it just feels like right now I need to just focus on my my home and my my pinnacle right now my family life my you know if you have children it's like I have to give more time to my children I have to give more time to my work and then I will fit you in right because I this is where the this is where the focus really needs to be okay because otherwise it's imbalanced and there's too much going one way and not not enough the other way and then I end up giving you all this time and then all of a sudden you go away <sighs> or you don't give it back and then you hurt my heart something of this nature okay so spirit says it really is about a balancing act whatever the situation is if you know it's not love then it's something else but there has to be a balancing act because it just feels like there's a, some kind of impulsion like I said whether it's you or them that ends up stirring the pot so you have to you know <clears throat> have to take it very moderately Right. So overall card for the reading is Wondrous Universe, Walk in Beauty. Wow, there's a wondrous out there. Watching clouds, lie back, rest, and relax. The answers will come to you. And Voyage of the Heart, love flows through you and to you. Nice. Okay, my friends, and that was it for you. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.